Okay guys, so today I've installed a forge recirc valve on my SD180. A couple of you have asked me how easy it is to do. Well, sensor, one, two, three bolts, T30s, a couple of extensions, and a T30 bit, and a small ratchet. You can undo most of the bolts on the, uh, the medium ratchet. You want to take this cam cover off here, which is on two T30 bolts or screws if you like. One here and one here. This basically gives you extra uh, extra room in the driver's wheel latch because the big cover blocks up this. So it's all about leverage, guys. It's a little tricky. Sits up in here. So you've got one, two three volts on the standard and you need to uh, clip in the wiring plug it does only go in one way guys it will clip when it's in um, I just need the cable tie these up out the way the drive shaft um, simple case of bolt in bolt out job um, as you can see it sits up in there and then mine did come with um, the yellow spring. Now these are obviously rated for different PSI. So what I've done is I've installed the blue stiffer spring um, as I mapped up. Um, I was told it was better to run the blue spring um, from Connor and Jordan at H Sport. Shout out to H Sport Performance. It's always a good score down there. Any advice? And they like it to go. And then you need to run the vac hose. Now I'm running the boost gauge as well, so I've needed the T piece. You need to tap into your map sensor. Now this is the Forge map sensor uh, boost tap that comes with the car. So the map sensor actually goes on the side, whereas the AirTech one sits on the top. You, uh, it does come with a bolt. You basically, bolt that from your map sensor into the boost tap and then use your standard bolt to bolt it back to the car. So you need to run the one wire into your T-piece. If you're not running a boost gauge, guys, you don't need to do this. Uh, but as I'm running the boost gauge, you can, um, you need to do it again. I need to uh, secure this wire up out the way of the drive shaft. So um, you can uh, get a rough idea, of, a rough idea of how it works. And go into the car. Actually, it's not cold, guys. Don't worry, I've let it run up for a little bit. So, the issue I had first of all when I first did it was. I had the hoses on the gauge the wrong way around. Now they were on there when I first bought the gauge and just out of carelessness, I didn't check them. Yes, and learnt. So there are plenty of diagrams and gauges. So your top wire off the gauge needs to run to the bottom wire on the solenoid. And the one on the bottom needs to run to the top. So it's top to bottom, bottom to top. Don't make the same mistake I did guys, because you end up with a stupid stu -do, 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 do noise every fucking gear change um, but that's basically how you fit the fudge or any abraded recirc valve again just sort of checking your GFB one obviously you use the standard recirc you take this out um, excuse the nails guys I'm a nail biter <laughs> shamed of it but you know we are gonna have it okay, do it one handed so the GFB one you use your standard recirc Take this out, your spring comes out, don't lose the spring, and you pull this out with a pair of pliers. If you damage it, don't worry about it. And then the GFB one just sits over the top, and you put it all back together and bolt it back in. But for any upgraded forge, turbo smart, or any other recirc valve, don't need that as a direct replacement. What I noticed, guys, was it's working, but every now and then it, it jams, it's sticking. 
Um, so just sort of check yours when you do it. See, there it's not got in straight. See, and it it jams. So just sort of check yours if you take them out, guys. I'm pretty sure this is faulty, but the car does still run on it, so I'm just going to keep it. Um, well, as a spare, basically. But that's how you basically fit a forge uh, reset valve. Three T30 bolts. Bolt the bracket to the top bolt here, which holds the um, who's on it up out of the way. Run the top. Run the hose up to your map sensor. And job done. Okay, guys. Stay tuned because I will be out in the video soon. I'm not going to reveal what is happening. Um, obviously, I'm no expert in making videos. I do this just to help you guys out. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.